Welcome to Cooking with Shams. Today we are making a delicious chicken masala biryani. I have the oil warming up and I have sliced three large onions which I will be using to marinate the chicken. I want the onion to be slightly golden and that will be used for marination. So this is exactly what I want and I will remove the onion from the oil and set that aside. So as I remove the onion aside, I'm going to liquidize the cilantro, mint and a few green chilies. The chicken has been washed and left in the colander, so for no excess water, I'm using two tablespoons of Kashmiri red chili powder, two tablespoons of biryani mix, two tablespoons of fennel powder, sumph, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, and one tablespoon of garam masala. Coming in next is two tablespoons of ground ginger and garlic, salt. I'm using one cup of curd. I will be adding the liquidized mint, cilantro and green chilies. Coming in next is a saffron which was infused in warm water was added. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to add the onion that was fried and kept aside. And I am going to give this chicken a good mix incorporating all this delicious spices marinate well cover and set aside now i'm adding four to five tablespoons of the oil that i use for frying the onion give this chicken a good mix make sure that the oil has been incorporated well and I am going to cover and set aside until we move on to the next step. Now I have about 50 grams of butter into the oil that I use for frying the onion and a whole spices. You can do the marination overnight which I have done. So now I'm going to add the chicken. The tip here, my friend, when you rinse your chicken, give it a good rinse, leave it in the colander. There's no excess water. Let each step from marinating the chicken to layering the biryani be a lesson in patience and creativity. Cooking the biryani isn't just about following a recipe. It's about embracing the experience, learning as you go, and knowing with each dish you are growing as a cook. Now that we've marinated and the chicken marinated chicken is into the oil infused with butter and uh, we are going to let this cook for about eight to 10 minutes on medium heat. Mix well. And I am going to add 100 grams of soaked lentils. So as you roll up your sleeves, my friend, let's create something truly delicious together. Without a doubt, this biryani was super delicious. Now I'm going to add a few potatoes, just spread them around 
and I'm using whole potatoes. You can give them a slit so the gravy soaks in well. And now we're going to allow this to cook for a good 25 to 35 minutes because we want the potatoes to be nice and soft. I wanted all the liquids to dry off properly. I left aside some steamed rice which I'm adding now. Just smear that around. So let's prepare some uh, cumin seeds and cinnamon sticks and fry I'm going to fry some onion this is going to be for the rice and I'm going to add a piece of butter about 50 grams should do just allow the onion to cook properly and I half a teaspoon of yellow food coloring now this is the mix just allow this to filter through all the rice. Don't give it a, just mix very gently. And now your biryani is done. This was so delicious. I will have all the ingredients listed in the description.